I am Arvind Dutt. I am from Adani Solar, manufacturing wing, and uh, I will be moderating this session. So let us start with the introduction of the panelist sitting here. Yeah, thank you, sir, and thank you, Yuki, for giving this chance to present ourselves and to uh, like witness this very good event which we are witnessing since morning. Uh, so my name is Himmat. I am CEO and founder of Photom Technologies. Photom Technology is a robotic clean tech startup, so which is providing robotic cleaning system for solar photovoltaic plants. So as of now, we are serving around 300 megawatt in Gujarat, and we are also in, dis in discussion with some of the plant in Rajasthan where we'll be installing these systems for cleaning. Hello, good, uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, myself, Shantanu Shirsat, and I am from uh, Growot. Uh, basically, we are into manufacturing of uh, string inverters, on-grid string inverters. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Amod Anand, and I am the co-founder of Loom Solar. Uh, Loom Solar is a startup company. It's a D2C company. Uh, it's a five-year-old company, and we are working particularly in the residential rooftop solar in the off-grid segment, uh, one to ten kilowatt only. Thank you so much. Good evening, everyone. My name is Rahul. I'm heading uh, Vari Energies for Rajasthan State, and we are into manufacturing of solar modules, inverters, cables. Uh, lithium ion uh, systems. Thank you. Hi. Good afternoon. I am Ashok Kumar Jain, President Rage for Infra. Rage for Infra is providing end to end solution to all uh, solar developers, starting from the customer identification, uh, giving uh, access and uh, project development, project uh, installation, and then operation maintenance from end to end, starting to end. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Uh, I'm Aditya Singh Punya from uh, Itrika Power. We are dealing with SunGrow inverters, and uh, we are focusing on uh, majorly uh, utility as well as commercial. Now we are also into the residential segment. Uh, we have uh, supplied more than 200 plus megawatt in uh, less span of uh, one year, eight months. And we are also focusing on the service side of the inverter industry. Thank you. <coughs> Hey, good afternoon. My name is Pushpin Samadhiya. I'm heading the sales in Satvik. So at the out outset, I would like to thank uh, EQ and team for arranging this wonderful events. Uh, Satvik is one of the largest module manufacturer with a capacity of one and a half gigawatt in Nambala. And we are manufacturing all kind of module like uh, monopark, half cut, bifacial and, and uh, poly modules. Good evening, everybody. Myself, Anu Paroda. I am from Green Roots Renewable Energy, founder and director. We are uh, providing solar rooftop solutions, EPC, and open access. Hello, everyone. Uh, uh, this is Ajay. Uh, first of all, uh, I just wanted to reveal some secret. Uh, in the next session, actually, I was supposed to be moderator. So I have prepared like that. So not, not my direct introduction. So I'll just try to like set the tone of uh, this forum yeah so uh, so uh, i'm running one company uh, sun power and consultants uh, private limited it's a consulting firm so uh, when uh, this uh, solar renewable evolves like first came solar wind like it's a parallel tandem things solar wind then then we move to like solar plus dg set one of the one of the topic actually which we have to cover in this particular um, session solar dg hybrid that also point uh, is to be covered so that i'm saying it's a hybrid uh, solar hybrid with dg and next is like solar hybrid dg plus battery so that is also one more application why i'm talking because wherever we are going uh, like domestic nationally or internationally everywhere the talk of the town the need of the hour not solar not wind uh, it's a it's a hybrid kind of thing whether it's a solar plus wind or whether it's a solar plus uh, battery storage plus dg or wind plus solar or solar plus dg so these kind of things is mandatory and uh, you might have seen this seki has also came out ntbc has also came out with some innovative tendering there no solar alone is coming no wind alone is coming o always like solar plus wind is coming solar or lithium and battery storage bss system is coming so that is the need of our so we have to now focus and another two more things actually just want to cover up here 
because in my last session or last week was very very eventful for this particular top topic uh, it's like floating solar floating solar it's very very uh, like uh, uh, min uh, very minimal uh, explored explored and executed in india only by like your ntpc bhl shell ongc so the, these kind of project or some of the your private players big giant uh, they have also put up some uh, like very um, uh, your prototype or some pilot type of project so floating solar is also coming up in a big way okareshwar you might have heard 600 megawatt the world largest floating solar is coming in madhya pradesh and uh, another thing in uh, renewable what are the statistics by 31st of august you might have seen something has been revealed or disclosed by mnre because it's a we are sitting in rajasthan so rajasthan uh, rajasthan is uh, is the top uh, is uh, uh, did uh, they, they are at the top in the renewable whether it's a solar whether it's a like combined uh, renewable it's almost 20 gigawatt it's touching 20 gigawatt out of that um, uh, some 70 percent is solar and uh, followed by gujarat because in the last session gujarat also covered so they they are around 18 gigawatt uh, uh, stuff and then tamil nadu and andhra pradesh 16 gigawatt of uh, things these are these are the summary actually this uh, i have already prepared for this just to say so sorry for that uh, and thanks for bearing me so uh, what i would like to know here in our panel we have people who are working we are working in 1 to 10 kilowatt system some are working beyond 10 kilowatt to 500 kilowatt or up to 5 megawatt kind of system in the rooftop or ground mount and some are from the ultra megawatt power projects also right so what is basic difference of the onm which we are looking right now first thing second thing onm because it is least bothered point right now among many epc player or you can say many other installer so this will become a very very big business in the coming future it will be a very big business because we are going to have an installation of 500 gigawatt as per uh, PM Modi's commitment. So when we are having a 500 gigawatt of the installation, definitely we require the maintenance part of that. So I would like to know your view from 1 kilowatt to 10 kilowatt light from the Loom Solar and Gautam Solar can tell me about that. And uh, from the raised infra, I can, I can get the, uh, your view on that. How you see this as a business opportunity in the coming years? Thank you, thank you for giving this opportunity and explain myself and my business, ONM, uh, in this form of people. Uh, when you said that uh, ONM is a very less talked uh, subject, I don't agree with this. ONM, yes. ONM, uh, I think, have a vast and vast opportunities as far as the solar. ONM has the vast opportunities as far as the solar business is concerned. Why? Because project life is only six months, three months in solar rooftop even in a 15 days or one month. But as uh, ONM goes up to 25 years, still the uh, life of the modules are there. ONM is there. So ONM business is was uh, huge in past also, going to be very huge in the future also. So uh, as far as the ONM is there, I think uh, most people can make as a career uh, in the ONM only for the solar, only for the rooftop, or maybe ground mounted is a uh, very bright feature in terms of one. First thing, and then in, uh, uh, let us uh, come uh, as the uh, question goes, as we go, we'll explain what ONM is, how, what are the new technologies are coming here, and what are the challenges faced being uh, due, the, uh, due to the uh, low PPA or the low rate uh, from the government what we are getting. So, thank you. Hello. So for uh, loom solar in our category, particularly in the small residential sector where we are calling 1 to 10 kilowatt, if you talk about in today's circumstances, I would say there is no ONM. What you do then? Uh, customer is buy the product, you just install it. And the beauty of India is every, everyone is a ONM player, everyone is an installer. There is no certificate required, right? There is no compliance. So if you have a 5 kilowatt system, if you want to install in your home, okay, uh, today you want to start a EPC player, okay, you just see you, uh, on YouTube and you become a uh, kind of installer and you go and in the home and you what you do, you burn the inverter, then 
you want the battery and all the stuff and who pays the money at the end of the customer and on the cost of the customer the people are learning the installer are learning so that is the very bad thing i would say if you are uh, <coughs> the same person if you are the same installer and omm player in the usa in the australia uh, where the residential market is uh, i think more than 50% in the usa uh, you cannot do such things you have to take the license even if you do a minor change during the installation you have to take the permission from the authority and then only you can uh, install this 5 kilowatt system 10 kilowatt system but uh, but the thing is the time has come uh, because this uh, system a uh, 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 small system i am talking particularly for the residential a uh, home uh, uh, because everyone we uh, are living in the home 24 by 7 and i am 100% sure that uh, in 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 modern time in today time also no one is getting a 24 by 7 electricity i am talking about uninterrupted power like the problem is that everyone has electricity government also say the electricity is everywhere but uh, in the metro city i am talking about uh, in the tier 1 city also there is a power interruption so the thing is that the kind of the uh, the system and the kind of this maintenance uh, is required very much required and this will begin with the uh, the person who is going to install he he must have some kind of the skills at least he must know what is inverter and what is the solar panel how it is installed what are the parameter they have to uh, look into that i am i i have seen so many installer they do not know about the how to do the uh, like uh, parallel and the uh, the series kind of the connection they do it and they uh, burn the junction box and all so this kind of the this is the real kind of the problem that i have seen so we need to work on this and then onm can be a very very uh, big business thank you so uh, when i was saying um, uh, it's a like uh, compare construction versus onm services i generally used to give this example it's like very interesting just i just want to wa like wake up all all the audience uh, construction is just like a marriage and when time is just uh, to maintain the relationship how to maintain how to uh, respect each other how to uh, uh, meet the expectation by putting all the sops like uh, man has to be silent woman has to be vocal <laughs> so these things you have to be with, with the equipment you you have to be with uh, the system and them means you have to be always with all the equipments with a relationship if you maintain properly then you will get like four five things like one is performance very good performance if you are with them maintaining the sop and uh, <clears throat> then you will get a uh, best of the performance next is efficiency and uh, third one reliability reliability if there that won't be like very least faults will occur and power will be reliable <coughs> and last actually it will again uh, be your roi because when there is uh, number of faults are reduced then uh, roi will be the best so this is like my comparison between construction versus uh, ondm ondm is more important than construction that is uh, Uh, my take on this because construction would be for 25 years when dam is only for say 15 to 18 months or uh, construction uh, might be 6 months also uh, if we consider uh, what i understand from basic ondm is that we anyway need to get the panels cleaned right and uh, there are tons of water gallons of water that is being i would say not exactly wasted but too much consumption so that is where all this dry cleaning and all these things come into picture where we can actually uh, reduce the consumption of water go with uh, dry cleaning go with robotics whatever the new technologies are coming up in the picture and uh, that is how uh, probably i think operation and maintenance is going to go ahead um, so uh, as you said ki वही दिस ओ एन एम इज़ वेरी लेस टॉप सब्जेक्ट मैं आपको सच बताऊँ सब लोग uh, का एक ही मकसद है कि गवर्नमेंट से स्पेसिटी ले रहा हूँ रूप टूप का पर्टिकुलर वही है आफ्टर दैट दे फोर गेट की हमने प्लांट लगाया था उसमें से बिजली मिलना चाहिए कितनी मिलना चाहिए हाउ मच द कैन गेट हाउ आर दे आर गेटिंग दे डोंट कम्पेयर दैट इज वाई ओ एन एम इज वेरी लॉस लेस टॉप सब्जेक्ट इन रेस्पेक्ट ऑफ रूप टॉप एंड वेन इट कम्स टू द ग्राउंड वाउंटेड 
it is definitely have a very big impact. Everything has been lined. Everything which has been written, what performance ratio must be there, what plant availability must be there, and there is penalties. So these things are not outlined and not written in the uh, rooftop. And most of the people, most of the people know uh, solar means only rooftop because they don't know, don't so see in the uh, ground wanted uh, for most of the uh, persons. They don't know, don't know that there are plants which are uh, ground wanted. They only know. Uh, solar means rooftop. Rooftop means subsidy. Subsidy means no OM. Just kisi ko bolti aare thoda point dal dena to ho jata hai. So there is not the OM. OM is something different. People don't know about it. That is why this is less top person. Right. Absolutely right. You said it. And uh, I have seen uh, rooftop plants. They can install five kilowatt, ten kilowatt. It's not a critic on anyone. But usually what happens? People install and forget. Abhi kahi bahut tejhi se hawa aayega, kuch aayega. Usko jaake check nahi karne wala hai ki weather. That will be done because you see the fatality of it. Basically, and the examples are given. So, basically, the importance of OM is not yet. Before that, when it doesn't happen, everyone is happy, they don't have any issue. When the fatality will come, they will say, No, it's okay, I have to take it. So, it will come with the. For a smaller plant like 10 kilowatt, normally OM carries a cost. Right. For a bigger plant, we do O&M, 100 kilowatt, 200 kilowatt, 1 megawatt. But for a smaller plant, a household person will not like to outsource that cleaning process or O&M process. In that case, it is what we do. We train them, we give them an app saying that this is the app, this is the generation should come. From here you can see, so he check his generation, He we uh, give them training to clean panels and everything uh, required to maintain that plant. So in a smaller plant, I think uh, consumer has to be educated. And if he find that there is some problem coming, even net, uh, that uh, if Wi-Fi is not coming, they call us that our data is not coming. So if we will educate them, we can bring a big change. Hum la sakte hai. First is install, kar diya, uske baad education is very important. Usko app de diya. Most of the cases, we have seen that जो इंस्टॉल हुए हैं प्लांट्स छोटे प्लांट्स उनके पास कंज्यूमर को पता ही नहीं है कि कैसे चेक करना है कितना जनरेशन आ रहा है तो वो एजुकेशन एक बहुत बड़ा फैक्टर है छोटे प्लांट्स में एटलीस्ट जैन सर ने एक चीज कहा कि जो मेगावाट प्लांट्स लगते हैं उसमें ओएनडीएम प्रॉपर होता है बट जैसा बाकी सब का व्यू है कि रेजिडेंशियल सेक्टर में कोई बॉर्डर नहीं करता है उसका सिर्फ और सिर्फ एक रीजन है इनका जो ब्रेड एंड बटर है वो उसका जनरेशन है इसलिए उसके लिए ज्यादा बॉर्डर होते हैं घर वालों के लिए नहीं है मेरा बिजली का कॉस्ट सिर्फ कम होना चाहिए मेरा बिजली का बिल कम होना चाहिए जब ये माइंडसेट चेंज होगा ना तो लोग ओ पे ज़्यादा फोकस करेंगे जैसे अरविंद जी ने सही सही कहा कि अगर कहीं तेज आंधी आती है कोई भी नटबोल्ट लूज हो सकता है आपके एम सी कनेक्टर लूज हो सकते हैं आपका जनरेशन वहाँ से हिट हो सकता है बट जैसा ग्रीन रूट्स के से सर ने भी कहा कि वो कॉस्ट एक रेजिडेंशियल यूज़र बियर नहीं करना चाहता है तो ये एडुकेट करने की ज़रूरत सारे इंस्टॉलर्स को है कि वो अपने हर कस्टमर को करे कि ये ओ का महत्व है क्या अगर वो एक एक्स अमाउंट पर मंथ खर्च कर रहे हैं अपने प्लांट पे तो उसका वो एक्स प्लस वन में कैसे बेनिफिट उनको मिल रहा है बींग ए मॉड्यूल मैन्युफैक्चर आई थिंक द सेवेंटी परसेंट कॉस्ट ऑफ ई पी सी इज मॉड्यूल so we normally provide all the kind of like education and training ki how do we and we share the installation manual how we should do it and the the quantum of uh, cleaning of the module should be done frequently but i have a different uh, view on it ki mainly i have seen that in residential if you put a system of three kilowatts so they check day by day if any kind of generation will drop so they will call to epc company i think maybe in big system some 100 megawatt or something maybe they will check it will be done some string there will be some problem but if you are going, but, but now I don't think OEM is so much a problem because even the our end client who is going to install the system, he is hey, after I keep putting their one year or one and a half year experience, they are going to install the system. So they will ask every time this this system for like residential for Gujarat, for Rajasthan or whatever the scheme where we are getting subsidy. So they ask you this five year warranty and they also ask the generation kind of system. So always they go and check nowadays. Every inverter company, they are providing some kind of F, which uh, Aroda Sa was telling. So they also check ki aaj paanch unit generated hua, charge unit hua, what is the problem? Because the OEM is on part of EPC. So they normally tell the EP ki residential ki you can also clean the module in the time of before 7 o'clock or after 6 p.m. So I don't think this is a problem. The problem what is 
mainly the phasing because the kind of epc epc staller is going to stall the system which mr arvind mentioned at the kind of epc because at the time of wind storm and all lot of system got uh, like ud jate hain wo jata hai because the kind of epc because normally we suggest m8 kind of volt they have to use they have to use the torque range and all so that is the main reason because now everyone is uh, rushing out on the prices how we can reduce the cost so uh, because in, in uh, it is also from the ministry because normally whenever they come with the benchmarking pr uh, pricing after increasing of the module prices and even the poly silicon prices which is the highest in a decade that is more than 305 rmd per kg so how the module and the system prices are decreasing decreasing as per the ministry record because we have also not idea even the epc and other company how they are because we are also approaching them ki the the benchmarks uh, cost would also increase because this because earlier i think 4 5 year back this system through seki scheme and other scheme they are used to come when all the system come with 2 year warranty now it is minimum 5 year warranty even it is getting because 5 10 year some of the state like chandigarh and they are also asking for 10 year warranty so after putting off all the module raw material every cost that are increasing badhte ja raha hai to uske according the the system price would also increase so i think uh, the cost why all the we all are rushing on the cost of the system that is one of the reason ki log ko lagta hai laga ke aur chale jana but i think residential mein it is not possible ki aap lagao it is pos only possible from some state government building ki aapne laga diya payment le liya uske baad nahi gaye because oh, maybe may i think your 5% or 10% payment will be stuck wo 5 saal ke baad dekha jayega against pbg and all but for residential it is not possible because every day they will he will call you maybe he will go to the rrdc or state government he will tell ki sab ye dene nahi aa raha hai you will blacklist him so i don't think ki now agar mera amazon se agar 5 rupaye ka 10 koi bhi agar hota hai so will complain each and everywhere so for putting 50000 or 1 lakh rupees in their uh, residential rooftop uske baad wo bhul jayega ki wo endem nahi aayega uska generation nahi aayega so wo possible nahi hai and uh, uh, chaturvedi sahab kuch iske apart from this uh, sorry for going beyond of this thing he was telling some interesting uh, topic regarding because earlier in panel discussion we were facing all the challenges particular into rajasthan i think we should also appraise that rajasthan is one of the few uh, uh, state where we have all the renewable resources including wind solar and everything or we are the I think, largest in india having a 19 point some gigawatt capacity in uh, we are i think 14 in sub capacity with solar system so but but there is some uh, misbalances there ki say 90 or 92% capacities coming from a utility or ground mounted project not from a uh, rooftop where residential and cnd is there so i think we should more focus and government should also come with uh, more like uh, some uh, gigawatt scheme in rooftop uh, so ultimately where the capacity and things will come so the epc and entrepreneur they will start and they will more focus into n and all so this is what just want to add thank you uh, so even uh, like you said that over the solar uh, onm business so we are uh, doing part of the onm we are providing robotic cleaning and that is also for the megawatt scale plant but we were also very curious in this market of 1 to 10 kilowatt which is rooftop like how we can provide onm over there and we can make a good business over there so early this year in the first quarter we launched a pilot uh, project uh, with around 50 kilowatt rooftops where we had uh, system ranging from around 3 to 10 kilowatts so what we did like we wanted to provide the full onm services on subscription basis like onm as a service for the rooftop that's what we wanted to build and we wanted to provide so we did around 3 months long pilot project we were not uh, taking money out of the customers from the customers we were just uh, providing the free services and the services we were doing the cleaning then we were doing the inspections part inspection of the panels even we were doing by thermal scanner and all and we were doing the other junctions and all component checking Uh, so what we found right like after the uh, three months when we just launched our pricing, we told the customer like this is a monthly price which you need to pay. Then we found there are some resilience because they are already aware like sir told, uh, EPCs are, are already teaching them and telling them what to do and when to do O N M part. So I think uh, it's so very tricky to make this business uh, this as a business in the rooftop uh, sector, like to by providing the O N M. it can only be done if we are very efficient in the operations the, which we were not frankly speaking uh, in providing the operations and maintenance services and be very efficient so we can regulate our cost and do it in very minimal pricing so yeah it can be a business if we can be uh, very efficient in the operations and we can provide in minimal uh, pricing and we can make the operation maintenance very efficient yeah yeah thank you